So the aim of this project is to get more local produce into the public sector. So local and sustainable public procurement has a wide range of benefits for Wales, including supporting the local economy, giving confidence to farmers to diversify and for new entrants to access new secure markets. It can um, enable those accessing public services to um, have healthy and delicious local food, as well as supporting nature restoration and net zero ambitions. The Sustainable Procurement Food Hub project has allowed us to create a food hub here at Cultivate in Newtown. So it's allowed our growers to expand production, supplying the local schools and the local college with fresh fruit and veg. So it's the first step in revitalising local supply chains. We've also been able to provide the growers with skills, training and new equipment to support increased production. And the Open Food Network online shop will make it much easier for the public sector to place orders with the food hub. Yng Nghymru, un i'n prynu tu a 95% o'n cynnu'r llath yn lleol ar yw 75% o'n cig. Ond gyda llysiau, dyma o'n 600 sy'n cael eu tyfu yn lleol gyda ni yma. A felly, un i am gefnogi unrhyw gyfle i ni'n cael i hyrwyddo a prynu llysiau a ffrwythau lleol er mwyn cynyddu faint i ni'n prynu a tyfu yn lleol. Ac yn ddweithar, cafwyd peilot bach i wneud y gwir lle tyfwyd llysiau lleol yma yng Nghaerfyrddin a mynd â nhw i cartref yr hen oed yn, yn, Llandeilo. Gwelwyd, yn Llandeilo. A fyna gwelwyd nifer fawr o'n hen oed a, a preswylwyr y cartref yn mwynhau llysiau ffres, lleol, llysiau oedd yn llawn maith a hefyd y cyfle ble o'n nhw'n mwynhau i bwyd ac yn gwella wedi ni cymaint o maith o'n nhw'n cael o ddiwrs y llysiau yna a na beth ni'n moyn yn siir gar. We are one of two hubs in Wales, one in Newtown in Powys and we're in Llelli Cymadenshire, um, where we aggregate the produce of many small growers across the county and then redistribute it to the public sector, to schools, care homes, Pembrey Country Park. We've had some very, very favourable feedback uh, to date from both customers and growers. The benefits from the growers' point of view is that they're able to access a market that they may not have been able to do so as an independent, but by aggregating their produce with lots of other growers in the area, they can now feed into a much larger network and supply chain. Uh, the benefits to the consumer point of view is that they get a far better quality produce. It's fresher, it's done a lot less miles uh, and therefore far more sustainable. There was a few reasons why we were drawn towards this project and one of the things was a regular income um, and another thing as well was about supporting local businesses. Um, I think it's really important that the public have access to local good food. This project has developed actually quite substantially really from just being able to show that I can actually produce microgreens to um, getting it out on the market. The majority of our customers are locally in Newtown so um, there's very limited travel miles on my food that I produce and I think that's a great thing for the environment as well. The food from the Food Hub uh, that we get is, is really, really good, you know, amazing quality, uh, so fresh. Uh, the students can see how, how fresh it is and where it's coming, travelling minimum miles. Uh, the, the customers, again, always comment uh, when they taste it, when, have, when we serve it, then they can taste the quality in it as well. So the Food Hub is really beneficial for us to use in the college. Sustainable public procurement can help us to make measurable progress against all aspects of the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act, helping us to pass on a Wales to our children that we can all be proud of. At Cultivate, we're all about active food citizenship and a local good food movement, and I think this has taken a real step forward with this project. <laughs>